perhaps they had seen his shadow in the spiritual realm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Through the law that was given to Moses through the tabernacle that was constructed. It was just a representation of the reality. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And with time, Hallelujah, praise God. With time, God had to bring His one and only Son, the one who was the true sacrifice, Hallelujah, to come and die for you and I. Praise God. In simple terms, what I'm trying to speak of. Those who in the old covenant, those who followed the law, praise God, they were living under the shadow, but they were not living by the reality. Hallelujah. Praise God. And this thing that was brought, what we call the new covenant, praise God, it was a perfect one. Hallelujah. For God speaks in the Old Covenant, in the Old Testament. Hallelujah. That he wasn't pleased with the bad offerings. Hallelujah. But the body that he prepared for Christ, it is what pleased him. It is what was going to enable him. Was what was going to enable his will to be fulfilled. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And those who are still living under the old covenant, they are still living under the law. But we who are living by grace, we have been justified. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Bible says we have been called into a marvelous light. Hallelujah. And from there, even the, death, the, the priesthood, it was changed. Praise God. From the Levitical one to that, that whoever is a son, whoever is a child of God, belongs to the priesthood of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is why some people are still lost. Praise God. Because they are still living under a shadow. Praise God. They are still living by what things came long ago. But they are not living by the reality. Hallelujah. Because when Jesus came, in simple terms, he had brought himself to the people to show that the reality has come to pass. What you were moving under was just a shadow. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's give God a mighty hand now. What these people were under was just a shadow. Praise God. It is why even Moses failed to understand some things very well. And when we came to the temple, hallelujah, those who follow it the way it is, hallelujah, they are under a curse. Praise God. Because the Bible says that no one is justified by the law. But those who have faith, those who believe in Christ, they are the ones who are justified. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is why it was written in Habakkuk that those who are right, hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. That those who are right will live by faith. Those who are right will live by the reality. They will live because of Christ, not because of the law. Hallelujah. Not because of the shadow. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I urge each and everyone who is here. Praise God. We ought to get hold on to the reality. Praise God. 
And when we go and hold on to the reality, whatever was spoken upon us, it will come to reality. Hallelujah. But if we get hold on to the shadow, if we get hold on to the law, if we get on to hold, get hold on to things that don't justify us, we won't be able to see the reality of God. Hallelujah. Because the Bible speaks in Hebrews that this son here is the exact representation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's not a shadow. The shadow was cast from him. But he wasn't a shadow. Praise God. When he came in the new covenant, he came to fulfill what was written about him. Hallelujah. He came to bring about the reality into existence. He came to exercise what was spoken about him. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so you who are here, praise God. Perhaps we, have, we might have not understood this. Praise God. But the Bible says in Colossians, Hallelujah, chapter 2, verse 16 to 17, that let no man judge you. Hallelujah. Because of the things that are of the old. Hallelujah. Because of the law, because of things of the Sabbath. Let no man judge you. Because Christ is the reality. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's the one who was. He's the one who is. And is the one who is to come. Hallelujah. When you have him in your life, you have reality in you. Praise God. It is just a matter of time. Hallelujah. Praise God. You go to understand the God yourself. Praise God. Hallelujah. He left the form of the shadow and is in reality. And we ought to get hold on to him to do things that are real. Hallelujah. We saw things that are historical but to do things that are practical. Hallelujah. As others are saying that people used to get healed. Those who are in the reality, they say people are getting healed. And people are going to get healed. Hallelujah. Because the reality is something that you come into touch with. And when you are in touch with the reality, you also adopt the same characters. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is why some, some churches, this is why some believers, this is why some born again no longer believe in miracles because they are living under the shadow. Hallelujah. They are still under the law. Praise God. But we who are under the reality, we come need to touch with the same miracles. We come need to touch with the very one. We are not surprised that much. Because we know these things. As our father did them. As the firstborn did them. We who are under the same path. We are also able. Praise God. Because this God that I'm talking of. Praise God. Before him there is nothing that is impossible. He speaks in Jeremiah. That is the God of all those that have flesh. Before him all things are possible. Because it's the reality. Hallelujah. The other God stopped working long ago. Praise God. The Maria that the Catholics found before. We don't know where she ended. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because even when Jesus was performing the first sign, there is nowhere we see in the Bible that he was born before him. If you read John chapter 2, 
When he turned the water into wine, the title that he gave to the mother, the one that they call the mother, it was some bit embarrassing. He said that woman, hallelujah, <laughs> praise God, hallelujah, take an example, your mother is speaking to you, praise God, that come and do this, then you say you woman, this is not my right time to do this, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah, because he knew that all these things, even the mother, hallelujah, wasn't the reality, but it was the reality, hallelujah, praise God, so one thing we ought to know, is that let's get hold on to the reality, and let's leave things that are past, let's leave things that are history and let's get hold on to what is there hallelujah because even john said that this christ we are speaking of we have even never touched him we have even ever we have ever please hallelujah first john 1 1 praise god to show that was the real, this was just exercising. That he existed both in the physical and in the spiritual realm. Praise God. But there are gods that exist only in the wooden form. Hallelujah. But our God is so spring. Hallelujah. Yes, the reality that you need. And when you have him in your life, you have the truth. You have the reality in you. Hallelujah. Because when you get hold on to the reality, Hallelujah, whatever is false will leave you. Hallelujah. Praise God. But when we look at the Gospel of John, Jesus himself tried to emphasize that was the reality. When we look at the statements that he used to tell, hallelujah, and because of time we won't read there, but I'll just read out to you, where he said, I'm the bread of life, I am the light of the world, I am like a gate, I am the good shepherd, he said, I'm the resurrection and the life. And I am the true vine. Hallelujah. Those are seven statements. And when we look at, the, at these words here, I am. Hallelujah. When God was sending Moses to Egypt, and when Moses tried to ask, but who? That who are you? Which name should I use? He said that God tell them that I am has sent me. Hallelujah. And the, child, the son took the same language. He came in the New Testament and said, I am. Hallelujah. That is John chapter 6, verse 35, that I am the bread of life. In simple terms, it's the God that gives life. Hallelujah. That's why it speaks in John. 4 verse 6 that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except from me. It was the reality that the older prophets needed. And it's the reality that we need today. Hallelujah. Because once you leave it, you've forsaken the reality. You'll move under the shadow. When you hear of miracles, you'll say those are underground people. But we who are under the reality, we, we are not surprised. One day I was also in the world. And I had that mind that God, God stopped working. Hallelujah. I used to know that miracles ended in the regime of the apostles. Hallelujah. 
But when I came to understand, when God came to reveal this to me, I realized that He's still there. Because He says, I'm the same. Yesterday, today, forevermore. It doesn't change. Hallelujah. It's the reality you need. Praise God. Others might be liars. But his truth, he says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. I am the bread of life. Hallelujah. It is why even those ancestors, that's why I say that most of the things that were done in the Old Covenant, they were just a shadow of the New Testament. Hallelujah. When you look at the way these people survived, in the desert, they ate manna. That was bread from heaven. Hallelujah. But this bread wasn't enough. It was just representing Christ. Hallelujah. And Christ came in the New Testament and said that I'm the bread of life. And those who eat on me, they have life. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you ought not to live Amen. by what passed. Amen. You ought not to live under the old covenant. <coughs> but the child of the new covenant. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's whatever they say. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They don't say what they, whatever they say. Hallelujah. But we know we are under the reality. Praise God. As it has manifested to us, we have come to understand it. But the way it will manifest to those who are not believing, it will be in another way. Hallelujah. It will be in a very mighty way that will force them to believe. Hallelujah. Let no one confuse you. Let no one take you away from the trap. Because the God you received, the Christ you received, is the reality you were looking for. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let no one take you off the reality. Hallelujah. It might not be done today, but what you want will be done. Hallelujah. The God we serve is able. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, I'm able to do exceedingly. Hallelujah. Amen. Beyond your understanding. <laughs> Beyond the limits of men. Hallelujah. Amen. And whatever he says is real. <laughs> because he says the revelation <laughs> takes time. <laughs> but it has to come to pass. <laughs> Because it was spoken, the one who spoke it was real. I want to tell you that the God you're serving is a real God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. God said, I know who I serve. That's why even under the persecution, he never forsook his God. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, I know the one I serve. That's Second Timothy 1 Timothy 1.12. That I know whom I serve. I've ever seen him. He's real. Hallelujah. And you have come to tell you today that whatever was spoken upon you, it wasn't spoken in vain. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. The God we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. He's not a God that comes and speaks when you feel you're powerful. No. He's a God that comes in that time of weakness and he speaks to you. Hallelujah. He said to Paul that my grace is sufficient. For my power is made perfect in your weakness. Hallelujah. And today I've come to tell you. Hallelujah. You might look at where you are. 
You might look at how you're living and you ask yourself, is it really real? But I want to tell you that what was spoken upon you, whatever God has told you, it is real. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is no longer a shadow. Hallelujah. But it's the reality. Praise God. Hallelujah. When we look at Mika, chapter 5, verse 2, Praise God. God spoke through the prophet. Hallelujah. That out of this out of this Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Mm. Out of this Bethlehem, actually it was Bethlehem. That there will come a man who will save the entire world. Hallelujah. But the Bethlehem that was by then, it was the smallest among the clans of Judah. Hallelujah. It was the weakest. Hallelujah. But God spoke to it in its time of weakness, in its time of being underlooked. And God said that, no, out of you will come a redeemer. Hallelujah. I want to tell you today that you might underestimate yourself today. Hallelujah. When you look at the shadow that is cast around you, when you look at your shadow, you only see darkness. But look, don't look at the shadow, but look at the reality. And you will be able to move on. Hallelujah. Because the reality is the one that makes things to come to pass. Hallelujah. Without the reality, there is no truth. Hallelujah. If the word of God wasn't to be real, we wouldn't be saved. But because what is spoke, it was real. You and I were redeemed. Hallelujah. So just keep the same kind of faith. Hallelujah. Just know that as he walked, he's still able. Hallelujah. As he served, he's still able. Because it's the reality that we need. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Bible says, let no man judge you by what you eat, by how you look, Hallelujah. by any other kinds of days. Because the Christ you're serving is the reality. The Christ that is in you is the reality. Hallelujah. You have the truth in you. Hallelujah. So you ought to stay focused. What is around you is nothing. Hallelujah. You ought to stay focused onto this reality. And you'll reach your destination. Hallelujah. But if you focus onto the shadow, you're going to perish. Hallelujah. For the Bible says, the law was just a shadow of the reality. And it's why it says in Hebrews that cast is anyone who doesn't fulfill the law. Because the law can't justify anyone. But the righteous will live by faith. Hallelujah. So this is what we ought to put in us. The faith that we need is the reality. Because Christ is faith. He's the author of the faith that we have. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's give God a mighty hand clap. Hallelujah. Let's focus on the reality. And not the shadow. Hallelujah. Some people no longer feel Christ. Hallelujah. You no longer feel the voice of the Lord. Praise God. You no longer feel the touch of the Father. Because they are still under the shadow. For when I come into touch with 
The person is shadow. There is nothing I feel. But when I come into touch with the reality, there is something I feel. Hallelujah. However much I may try to exercise. However much I try that I slap you using my shadow. Hallelujah. There won't be any kind of effect. Hallelujah. But if I come into touch with you, if I bring my, my soul, I come into touch with you, there is something that you'll feel. And this is what we owe to young folk. We don't yearn for the shadow, but we yearn for the reality. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because the reality has power. But the shadow is powerless. Hallelujah. The reality, there is a certain kind of effect that it can cast upon you. But that one who is under the shadow, there is no effect. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let's give God a mighty hand to that. I still have more time. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So without wasting any time. Hallelujah.